I guess the process was pretty similar. Um, when we start writing an album, we all kind of write a lot on our own. And there's not a whole lot of communication. And um, this is beneficial because mainly we we kind of start just writing whatever we're feeling at that time. And then once we get to a place where we can start sharing with one another, we kind of get an idea of where, what direction the album's going in. Um, we try to not plan much um, initially and just kind of see what naturally happens. And, um, you know, from there we start writing. And once we start going, it, it happens pretty fast. And um, I hate to say effortlessly, but um, I don't know, we're a good team. We've been writing a, for a very long time together. And I think each each album just it, it comes together even better than the previous one so um see so yeah, i mean as far as the process there, there not a whole lot has changed um for me I, I i try to change it up here and there with uh my process for writing lyrics and vocals and um i guess the main difference for this album was when i prepared the story i didn't have everything outlined exactly how i wanted it um, normally when i start a concept record i I basically do a huge timeline and you know, kind of map out the album once you know most of the music is done and this time I kind of wanted to start with a, a very simple idea and and kind of wing it and, and grow with it um, song by song um, and I've never done that before and because of that it, it kind of took me out of um, I guess habit and you know my comfort zone and I think it had this because of that it made the story go in a, in a direction i probably never would have had it go if i had just wrote the story before i wrote lyrics like i normally do so uh, i kind of enjoyed it um it did create a fair amount of stress just because there was moments i kind of hit walls um so to speak and um but i think the outcome was a lot better because i chose to write it like that I mean, it's one of those things. I think every album you want to achieve, you know, progression. Um, you want to be, you want that, you know, the album to be better, or you know, it, it's a, it's a time capsule. Um, each album is, and you and you want it to be have its own, you know, moment. Yet you want it to feel good with our catalog, and you want to, you know as you get older you want to get you know, obviously each album you want to get better at what you do so you hope to achieve all those things with it um i wouldn't say it's something you really consciously think about but you know i think when we're done when the album's done you're listening back you kind of hope these things um are achieved The dream world story was you know like i was saying earlier i, I kind of started with a very simple idea like what would what would uh, a worst case scenario be and that worst case was you know waking up and not having my wife and son with me and so i, t I basically took that very simple idea and created a whole story out of it um and the whole you know the dream world story was basically based off of a note i had written in my phone I just thought it was kind of an interesting idea that if possibly in the future there was a moment where, you know, somehow we could broadcast streams worldwide and people, it was just a new form of entertainment. So I kind of tried to tie that into the story and make this, um, this world that this guy was living in kind of in his mind, something that society's kind of voyeuristically, you know, watching in on. And it opened up a lot of a lot of doors, um, uh, you know, starting the album like that for me, just because normally I, I have a full grasp of where to go. And with this album, I did not at all. Um, as far as the, it didn't really for making it 
part of the double album thing that was something we did after the fact so you know i would say the store did not help create that idea at all that was just something that um we felt was necessary for the release of the album we felt it was something that suited the album well I mean, I think every band, that's that's kind of your goal. You want to, you know, you don't want to, we never want to repeat ourselves, yet at the end of the, the day, we want it to sound like a Between the Bear and Me record. Um, I don't think those are things you really think about when you're writing. I think because our sound is in our individual DNA, so to speak, I think that that naturally kind of happens. And um, I think we did a good job with that, but um, I don't think when we write, we're focusing on that you know I, I think we're just focusing on writing and, and what's feeling good to us and you know a lot of that stuff is really hard to explain to someone you just kind of you feel it and you know it um but yeah I mean I, I think it's a it's a push forward for us totally and I you know you know hopefully the next record will be a, a step forward from this one so I mean, I really love the record. You know, I think Millions is a really cool moment for us just because it's a, a very different song for us. A little more stripped down and simple, um, which we don't do a lot. Um, I mean, I like the intensity of Yellow Eyes and and Condemned to the Gallows and, you know, Blot. You know, I, I, I celebrate the whole catalog. But, uh, yeah, I would say Millions and Yellow Eyes kind of have... Yellow Eyes was kind of a schizophrenic... Um, way of you know the vocals are very schizophrenic and I, that was a fun one for me to work on I think pressure is important when creating things I think um, you know when you're when you've been doing it as long as us you you know you always have pressure to you know satisfy people yet you know you're you're always under deadline so i mean i think that stuff's good to you know i think if if you had the the freedom to just take as long as you want on everything it would never get done so um I and mean, i love creating i think that's i mean that's why we do what we do it's like you create something out of literally nothing and um i do continually write not really lyrics I, you know i'm always writing music you know either before my solo records or you know the between the bear and me stuff i I always try to write, especially when I'm on the road. Um, you know, and as far as lyric stuff, I'm always, you know, consciously thinking of ideas and writing down little notes and things that, you know, could help me help my path with what, what I want to do in the future. I always kind of have the next uh, album or so laid out in my head, so to speak, when it comes to certain things. So um, I'm, I'm constantly thinking about that for sure. I mean, that's kind of gone away, honestly, over the years. I mean, I think there used to be, I mean, there's still that sense of excitement. You, you know, you want people to hear it. You, you worked your ass off on it. You know, you, we've been, you know, it's, it's a long process. I don't think people realize how long a process it is from, you know, nothing to the end. And, um, you know, I, I don't think I'm ever really nervous because, you know, we're, we're, you know, honest with our fans and, we, and we're a very genuine band and we write you know what feels good to us and and we're very lucky to have fans that are kind of on the same wavelength and are always there for the next step um but yeah i mean it's definitely something you kind of have to get used to doing you know i think when you first start being in a band you you think you record and then the album comes out the next week so i mean but that's just something we've we've gotten good at and we kind of take our, our steps slowly and you know, I would say there's no panic there. I think we, we always think about that. I mean, at the end of the day, we're a band that's always toured. And we, for the most part, we've played every song we've written live. Um, 
so I mean I think even when we you know when we're writing we're always thinking of making sure we're writing things we can play and things that will translate well you know on stage I mean, there's always a little natural pressure, you know, you want to always outdo yourself. I don't think, I think it's more personal pressure, you know, you want to outdo yourself, you want to get better at what you do. I wouldn't say that, you know, quote unquote, success is something that pressures us. It's just, we want to always kind of like push our limits and write a, a really good record in our, in our eyes. Um, I mean, it feels part of the same album for sure, but it's, I would say it's a little more experimental possibly. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a little more adventurous, I guess. And, uh, I love part two. I'm, I'm really excited for people to hear it. Um, thank you for, I mean, we've been doing this for 15 plus years, so thank you for sticking with us and still listening to our music and hopefully we'll be over there sooner than later thank you for the interview <laughs>